Yo. Yo. Hello. This is podcast by Connor, Jack, and James. How's it um, going? I'll give you a little brief through. We're going to be going through release radar today with James. Uh, then I'm going to do some some artists I've recently found. And then uh, Jack's going to finish it off with some uh, some Star Wars. So it sounds pretty cool. How are we all doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm not too bad. Good, good. Just got doors open. Got anything planned for the weekend, boys? Uh, Seeing the yeah. girl later. Going to studio tomorrow. Bobby with LF. Unfortunately. Oh yeah, I'm going to studio as well. I hate that guy. I'm going to so studio as well. Much. I hate that guy so much. Should we just do an LF hate track? Yeah. Hate should album actually. We, this whole podcast should just be about how annoying. Should we call it the LF hate LF podcast? LF hate club. <laughs> 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 so basically, in future, if hate clubs get gets big, it's all because Alfie didn't like LF. It's all because like we LF. dislike LF that much. That's going to be original. Right. So yeah, James, if you want to start off the, the section. So. Should we leave a... Oh, no, we don't know. We'll do all the editing stuff after. So yeah, release Radar, James. Give us some, Thanks, some knowledge. Now you need to... What? Like going into your chin. Bro. You look like a chin, bro. <laughs> Injury. Anyway. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I was looking at release radar earlier, and Nux has released two new, well, one new song really. Have you had that? Well, no, technically it is. Two no, it's not. Well, it is the other because one... it's got a whole minute after it. Oh well, yeah, but the first song, the Alpha House thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, what part, is it? That was, was it? the Colors Show. The Colors Show, yeah. Oh, have you oh, have you listened to loads of color shows before? They're good. They're very good. Have you heard the unknown T one? is top tier. I don't care. JID one. Mm, maybe he's wearing a Real Madrid shirt and it looks drippy. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna remember. lie. I think that yeah. Did you actually? That was his. Well, f- that was you wearing. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm actually fair. embarrassed. Get out. Jim. I'll give you a song. No, no, no! Don't, don't play. Uh, home. home. If you want to get into Nux, Home, home is probably his t- biggest song. One of the top, yeah. Actually, what do you think his biggest song is? Home. Or yeah. Los. P- whatever it's called. Oh, Los, Los Palos Hermanos. Yeah. yeah, that was. Yeah. Alpha. Something. Summer is Blue oh, is very Summer good. Oh, Summer is Blue is a very good tune. Oh, yeah, no, it is. If you want to listen to him, like, more, listen to, like, his style as well. Like, listen to, like,. Yeah, because no one would have thought that drill and jazz would have exactly. gone together. Yeah, so it's like old like 60s, 70s jazz. So like, like trumpets, saxophones. Shall I show you something? Wait. Like really, yeah, yeah. Like just, just play. Some. I'll just show you because this is like one of my tracks, isn't it? But I'll just show you the start. It's like what he uses quite a bit, like this. Like stuff like that, and it goes. Just a little yeah. vibe. Shut up that. Um, <coughs> anything else? Well, have you listened to the one, the the new track as well by Nux? What the hide, hide and, and seek. seek? I like hide and seek. Very good. Do you know what came out recently as well? Um, Benny the Butcher. Oh, is that the, the, the one with uh, J Cole? Yeah, it's very good. Uh, I, I find like J Cole's part is better. The way J. Cole enters the beat on that song. I don't know how I feel about Benny the Butcher. Beautiful. I don't uh, know how I feel I've only it. listened to a few songs. I like him, but like he's a bit... Uh, I feel like he tends to stick in one... He's very not diverse. Yeah, he sticks to one Un- style of... Uh, undiverse. <laughs> undiverse. Uh, Juice World, new songs. Yeah, very true. Cigarettes. I've only heard... Um, Have you heard Cigarettes? Yeah, I heard Cigarettes. He, what's the other one? It's something... Go Hard V2. That's not on, is that on Spotify? Yeah. Something really weird about that song. What do you know about that song? Do you know what it is, though? It's supposed to be on his last new track. Oh, really? Was it actually? Yeah, there's a music video. He's there. But there's a music video. <laughs> yeah, he's just playing when he says that. He's a backup. He's just in there. He's just in the music video and he says that. Wait, how have they, have they just added it to the album? Yeah. I just think of it now. It's called uh, Fighting Demon Complete Edition. And it's got cigarettes from Go Hard. Mm. Also, cigarettes were released in 2018. So. Did it? Yeah, because everyone, the yeah, got quite a few people in there. Man, so uh, that's been out for ages. 
It's so last year. Oh, another. What's that? Is that like go hard? I've heard this as well. Have you showed you this? The recent release. Easy. Oh, yeah. I really like that. With the game. Yeah. I've never listened to that much of the game, to be honest. Neither have I. But I really like it, but just because it's got the easy sample in it. <laughs> My life was never easy. I'll just look him. Someone called Soluminati released a song. He's got okay. 60,000 monthly listeners. <laughs> no, maybe the not. The beat is good. Unlucky, solemn, naughty. Have you heard the um new Dig Dat song? Dig Dat's new song. No. It's called Dig Dat. Every second word is says he goes Dig Dat. That's not true. Swear to, I'll show you right now. I don't, I don't really like Dig Dat anymore. Neither do I'm I. Gonna be honest. His his old songs are flipping bad. Is it called Dig Dat or is it called Pimp? No, look, listen. Oh, we brought our whole. Shit. Look at him as well. It's like a thumb. No, that's <laughs> not. Is that him? Yeah. No, that's not him. Look at his profile picture. He's got four watches on. Have you listened to that? That. <sighs> oh, well. We know what did also come out. It's not an ASAP Rocky. What the fuck? Which just came out of nowhere called Doja Cat. And the main lyrics are. I have that bitch called Doja Cat. So, I mean, if he has... Good on him. Rated. I'm proud. Doja Cat is... Top tier. Top. Um, Ian Dior's album, that flopped. Yeah, Ian Dior's flopped hard. Like, when he first came out, he was doing big. And he had a lot of... um, Because he got a lot of attention from, like, Cuff Boys. And, like... um. Oh, what, with 24K? I like him. I like 24K Golden. Did he? Got Uzi on it. Any other, any other recent releases, boys, that we know of? Oliver some Tree. drill ones. Oliver Tree? Yeah, released. Well, yeah. there's things... So before an album comes out, like say it's thirteen songs an album, you might get five of singles, and then there'll be an EP of five songs and then an album come out and there's less of singles. You've got uh, a uh, all about streaming. Uh, he's got four well in total five remixes of the line that he's on. One with Fifty Rent Fee, that's the best one. The best one, yeah. One with high dollar sign, one with clean bandit. It's got Clean Bandit I have heard that. Yeah, Clean Bandit's like... They used to pop back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Like, with that, what's that song? No. Uh, in the backseat of my own... That's is that Chainsmokers. Is it? Yeah, that's oh, Chainsmokers. Chain um, <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> it did. It, I just looked at Spotify, and then it was like, new releases. Mm. Juice. I was like, oh. That's what his story, and I was like, what? <laughs> Bring it back to. Oh. What, 24K? Yeah. Another one. Have you heard that there's like this alleged <laughs> Juice and X song floating out there somewhere? There's multiple. Yeah. And that's uh, apparently that's the next album. But I doubt it. Yeah. But that'll be soon, though. For any X fans. It's soon, soon. But I don't know what the next song's going to be, which I'm looking forward to. But I don't know how they're... Because, you know, they've said that... 
Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like they're gonna start re-releasing like Make Out, Make Out Hill and stuff. But I don't know what order they're gonna do it in. I really want them to put it in from first third message. So for us, it'd be easier way to just kind of keep the run by X up on one day than the other. Well, we've hit the ten minute mark, so we're gonna try and keep this half an hour. So we're gonna skip to the next part now, which is me. Your topic? What's your My part? topic is underground artists. And one of them I found. Was it the one you showed yeah, me? Yeah, this uh, yesterday because I missed. Very uh, weird. I missed type. Missed type. Yeah, missed type Nux into the Spotify uh, search bar, and I came. I found this guy called Knuckles. Who? He's he's definitely trying to spell his name like Nux. Yeah, because he knows people are going to misspell it and find him. But he's got. He's got third. But he's a. It's like it's US rap. So I'd be surprised if he even knew who Nuts was. But then yeah, he, uh, sure. I mean, he's got quite a few songs. This is the first one I heard. The beat's pretty cool. I like the beat a lot. Should we get to that a little bit? Huh? At the minute, he is sitting at. 13 monthly listeners and you're now the 14th but he sounds his music sounds quite good for it sounds like, you know, like, yeah not like, a lot but more yeah but, but he sounds like his music sounds more yeah um yeah i've seen stuff like that no I'll send I'll send it into the group chat. Um right, let me see. I'm gonna see go through my who are you playlist. I don't know how you say that name, but I'm gonna put everyone on right now to my favourite rapper at this point, called Koi. Uh if you don't know Koi, you need to know Koi because he's fucking cool. Uh if you don't know, get to know. What's one of his best songs? I think he's very good. Um, he's got a very specific style, I think. But it's a very good style. But this beat is cool as well. It's that old, like, retro log synth -y. But this is only one type yeah. of his beats. But his voice is good as well. Smoke clearing out of room. Smelling like the woods. She gon' tell me about the pool. Mmm. Okay. I don't know. Like Who? 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 Yeah, why is every everyone at the minute is talking about Yee? You're gonna get a lyrical lemonade music video and a great beat going on. Was that that thing that was on the Instagram? Who is this guy? On Lyrical Lemonade Instagram. He is Is he that guy who wears like the headscarf thing? <laughs> I've never heard of him before. Not until now, anyway. What the fuck? So let me see quickly what other. Hmm. He sounds very similar. His weak, weak shouts come out as well. So it's like I think with all that type of music that's out there that I play. Uh, Do you know who I think is going to blow this year? Big Baby Gucci. A hundred percent. If you haven't heard of Big Baby Gucci, you will this year. <laughs> I don't know. He's been doing a lot Big more Big Baby recently. Gucci. Uh, he released a song, and I'm pretty sure he's got a song with a Cole Bennett video dropping soon. I think. I played this one to you before. Ooh, that's, this is good. Yeah. He's cool yeah. as well, but I don't really... 
No one cares about Double XL anymore. I do. <laughs> I don't. Ever since 2017, I've not cared about it. They could bring it back if they like, but in 2017, they've already blown up on it. So they've, well, they've got the interview all last year. He's got, he was at the height of his career, and now he's shot down. And these people underground him. I miss back in the days when it was like... You got with XM when he was just blowing up. Yeah, that's true. Like, you could even tell, because the people that were rapping with him, when he started doing his thing, they were like, what the fuck mm. is going on? People that actually could use Double XL for what it's for, could just use the public instead of it yeah, being like just f- more clout for people who and it because if, had if clout. it's not really it's kind of useless, then, isn't it? Like the last couple of years on Double XL have been dry, yeah. very. The dry. last good year was probably like. Seven. What was the year that Corday went on it? Year before last. The one with Corday was all right. That was good, but because it was like Corday, the baby. That was the last decent one, I think. And then. Yeah, because that was people like the baby hadn't no, really 19. blown up at that point. Oh, he, 19, yeah, it was 19, it was year before, year he before he was still going, and then from that point, I mean, I get COVID and sh- shit, but. Yeah. He was on the 2021 one. Um, DDG. Know. I'm trying to think who else. Coil Array. Ian Dior was on it. It's rubbish. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any more. This year. Knuckles. Like let's, let's put Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles. Petition, peti- petition to put Knuckles on. Shout out Knuckles, double you XL. should be on Double XL, bro. I'm your 14th I'm monthly imagine. listener. <laughs> 14 monthly listeners. Guys on I'm going to message him right now and be like, I'm your 14th monthly listener, bro. What's your year seven? They make a cipher. Or across the whole world, but you know what I mean? Because there's no equivalent for global, it's just the US. I think, yeah, we should try and do something like that. Let's we'll start off with UK, it. but. But we don't have to, though. Because I have. Well, not a contact, but I'm in touch with a lot of people from like, overseas and shit. I chat to a lot of people. We do, we do get I know someone from New Zealand. We do get some that's pretty cool. From there you go, that's one New Zealand done. Yeah. He's actually very good. The only thing, like, like you, for instance, you, you've done a touch of music, yeah. but you're English. Yeah, that's right. But you're not like I don't like how you walk down the street and it's another drill artist. It's yeah, another grime artist. I don't want to. I want like different. Yeah. Different. Yeah. There's a guy that I follow called Kid T Z. He's blowing up, and um, he's English, but he's got more of like a. So this guy's. Where's he from? Where's he from? England. Is he? This guy's English. He sounds like what's his name? Uh, like style of like Lil Mosey. They would do yeah. it. They would do it because They'll it's just it. free promotion. Exactly. I got one person I want on it. He's he's already kind of like somewhat big, but not really. Who is it? DC. That guy I showed you earlier. He's got he did one song with Nux that pushed him fucking high. He's got he's got three hundred three hundred thousand monthly listeners now. But you could still he's very underrated, I think. I think he could use more publicity. What minute we got? Oh, we're at, nine, we're at 19 minutes. What's your section, Joe? Silence. <laughs> um, 
Are there any good samples this week anyone's found or any new sites or any new plugins or any new? <laughs> oh, I've got that. That's actually decent. Is it good? That's, that's called very, Oracle. Yeah. Is it free? Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Simax. Stuff in Simax, it just comes up as free downloads at the top. Oh, really? Oh, the Simax are really good, you know. They've got very, like, there's got loads of, like, you've got like, trap kits. Have very you, diverse. Have you downloaded the, um, they've got a like, Melody Collection 2021, 2022. The 2021, uh, that's fucking sick. I got a, I got a trial version of it. Not trial version. You can get the beta version, you still get, like, 50. See, that's what I did. I got very lucky because I managed to get the fucking unison thing for like it was what, like seven. Cord pack. It was seventeen. It was seventeen, and it should have been like eighty something. Please drop that in the drive. I will drop it in the drive. Don't worry. Use it. It's got like a. It's, it's even got. Good. The only thing that's annoying about it is that you the drag and drop for chords is a bit annoying, and if you don't have FL, I think it's going to be very annoying because you know on FL when you're in the piano roll. You've got pattern, you've got the little pattern square, and if you like scroll on it, you can go pattern two, pattern three, pattern four. If you drag in one chord and then you try and drag it in next to it, you know when you do like hi hat midis, it will just take over it. Yeah. So say if you put a oh, like a G major like G major nine, you slot that in. So that's that one chord from one to two bars. It will be that chord. You pull in A minor nine, it will get rid of the G and put an A oh. there instead. So the best way to do it is just. Pattern one, drag one in. Pattern See two. how it sounds. Pattern two, drag it in. It's a bit long, but then there's chord progressions, which are just, it's just all progressions. How many is there? Is there a lot? The chord progressions, I think there's about 16 in each, uh, key. in each key. But it will be like F, like it will be like F minor to G major type thing. So it'll have like a, a two different. Oh, that's right. Yeah, drop it in. I'll drop it. I'll definitely drop it in. But um. Either of you use Splice? I'd cancel my subscription. Do you not like it? Fuck it. I, I know you. You look for stuff for ages, don't you? Yeah, because <laughs> you have to. That's the problem. I know. Splice. But I... Uh, I can't. <laughs> splice looks very, very basic. And you'll look at it and go, oh, it's just like but basic you got, you got sounds. you fucking dig. Yeah, you have to, like... The extent not now... Much, on Splice, there, you search. Which I didn't, I didn't realise you could do. There's, You could get a Splice app for your phone it's literally in my main hotbar whenever I'm bored and I've got that like, or I'm in like between transit I'll sit on splice and just dig I might start hours. my subscription again next month yeah that's what I do or on reddit as well reddit's a very good place yeah, for them that's where I got um, the whole lot of red kit I got the pop smoke kit I got uh, flower boy kit that pop smoke kit is actually fucking good. It's very good. I've the 808s in it are nice. Nah, but recently, uh, Leo sent me loads, probably like 50, 60 melodies, just draw melodies. And I've just been using them recently. See, I like... See, this is the this is like the, pro the problem with like producer guilt, is that I'll drag in a melody and I feel bad that I'm dragging in, a, like I'm going, I really... Sh like I, I'm, I'm capable of making a melody myself. But it's just down to being lazy. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, and especially making a melody yourself is so much easier than when you drag in a melody and you start trying to do like counter melodies and stuff. Because then you have to go and you have to try yeah, and yeah. fucking find the key and the root note. And you know, I figured out the other day that I'm really good at. I'm what? really good at making like, sp obviously like my thing is like Spanish, Spanish guitar. Trap, I'm, yeah. fu I'm actually all right at making like the melodies. See, I've start. I keep thinking like, oh, like if I get a playing instrument, it's just gonna sound shit. So I need to like really, really um, what's the word? Like not make it difficult, but like I have to put a lot in. I have to make it like mm. bigger than it should be. I got a bell sound the other day. I tapped in like six notes, and it was a six sounding melody. It was like a really reverb bell. I literally put in six like notes in. I made a melody out of that, and the beat took me like 10, 15 minutes, and it was done. Shall I tell you what's going to be sick? My dad is obviously like a producer, isn't it? Like yeah. He does it just like as a hobby or whatever. But he said that he could play guitar on one of my things. Like, I could make a melody on his guitar. Oh, no. Nice. Like a Spanish style. And I could record it in and then put a beat, beat over it. 
That'd be pretty cool. And I could get him to play like chords, like piano and shit. So like, he can play how, bass so like how Ocean does it. How Ocean yeah. makes his beats. But you know Ocean like hardly actually plays guitar. He just figures it out. I might do that. Yeah, he, d- he just da- he just He literally it. just random stuff. He can't play guitar. But I'm actually, I might actually do that. Just literally just get one of my dad's guitars. Let's just play around with it. Should I just try and make anything? Well, with any instrument, that's it really. You just got to piss about with it until you find something. You use your own yeah, even if it's just like you changing like you're just playing the same string but you're just moving it along that's something that's a bass line I, i've only done that once with a guitar and made a beat out of it but that was back in logic and it was quite easy to be honest because you just plug it in and play yeah fl's a bit long because you got to dabble around with all the settings and stuff to make it Basic melodies on logic are rough. i haven't done it for a very very long time just drums are kind of in logic. You can't oh yeah drums are fucking impossible like my very old like some of my old old beats on Logic, actually. What did you used to make your uh, drums on? Because I, when I was on Logic, I think it was called Ultra Beat or something. Yeah, I used I used Ultra, I used Ultra Beat. Beat. I used Ultra That's Beat. what fucking Ocean told me to use. <laughs> so but I used it. It was all right. BPM, yeah. Sometimes it is, yeah. If you don't, if it's not perfect, it does not sound right whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna quickly go back. Is it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna quickly go back. Mm-hmm. Well, whoever's in this podcast, whoever's gonna listen to it, you gotta, you gotta find, you gotta, you gotta hear something here that no one's ever heard before. Oh, it's my exclusive. Um, it's my old beats from Logic that just sit in my, uh, just, just sit and don't do anything. <laughs> I wanna find one of the good ones. Um, when I do record stuff from my dad, though, I'm gonna do it into Logic and then send it over, because he always, he has Logic on oh his Mac. So. This was probably at the time when I made it. This was like probably one of the better beats that I've made on Logic. When was um, this? Fuck. This was the twelve twelve oh seven twenty twenty. So two, this years, is two ago. years ago, nearly. Did you make the melody? No. no, not this one. Oh, yeah, I recognise this melody. The vocal chops that I found in Logic are pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's nice trumpet. Yeah, I just put in trumpet. What is it? That's a melody for something. I don't know. I, I just put I in remember. Logic. I just put. This was Splice. Little vocal chops as well. They sound quite nice. Two years ago. It's all effective. Right. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see. Get on the mic again. Um. What's that thing that Corday always says? Lately, I've been on my own shit. On my own. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, it always comes in with something like that. Oh, should we? Uh, Oh. You can't really hear the sub bass though, which is annoying because it just kicks in. Some oh, of the come on. this one though, this one I still have onto my account, like my <laughs> Instagram account to this day. This was on Logic. That was on, when was that? Half of it is, half of it's not. You know the mm, wah, wah, like the yeah. bell type. That was your dragon. The synth like pad was in the background. Yeah. Wet. Wet. Yeah. I thought it was a Nipsey Hustle type beat. Because I I took a lot of in Don't sue me anyone. But I took a lot of uh, inspiration from one of his songs already. <laughs> so don't see me. You know, have you I heard? I feel of like Rick, Rick Ross could be on that. I've got a Rick Ross beat that I also made on Logic. <laughs> I've got three of my beats that I made on Garage Band. Oi! Hey. Garage Band. Garage Band. Beat for a year of work. Jack Harlow. I have a Jack Harlow type beat from when I made beats on Logic. I have a Jack Harlow type beat on my laptop. 
Oh, why do you fucking stop there? This is the jobs on this bad boy. This is actually pretty good. I like that. I've got. I got logic beat me. One. Fucking hell. Do you know the song by Jack Harlow called River Road? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now listen. I do kind of miss my. Um, this is the beat I made. I didn't know how to mix, and I was trying to make a lo-fi little beat. It's not mixed properly at all. Did you make the melody? Does that mean it's gone? I don't know. No, because we can still hear ourselves. We can still hear ourselves, but it's not. Okay. That's not bad. Pretty cool. Mm. What? Oh. <laughs> Sound bad though. No, this this is one of my other ones. This I was obsessed with this melody when I made it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Too many mm. fucking mm. kicks in there. Mm. Kept right. This is probably. My old ones, I show, but this was probably one of the the first proper beats I ever made. It's a little Uzi beat, as you'll be able to tell. I might have showed you this before, um, and it was the first beat I, I actually made. So none of, of none them. of these sounds I dragged in. These are all either Logic, uh, what's it called? Presets, presets, or anything like that. So you made the melody. <laughs> There's a melody, a counter melody, and then a little breakdown melody as well. But when I made this, I was like... Mm. I was like, I can hear it easy on this. Bass. This was before I knew what uh, mixing bass was, so it was just the stock uh, 808 sound. I do kind of miss the sim like when you do beats on stuff like Logic. I don't know why, but I always felt like the simpler it was, the better. Like if the beats, if they were just simple, mm. I got something like this. I love that guitar. You know what I mean? It's just simple. And even with guitar, I like it. <laughs> yeah, you've got a thing for guitars, don't you? Yeah. Mm. Um, Mostly acoustic, though. I can't lie. Wait. I, was I watched a TikTok that was like 30 seconds ago. It was like, how to make a rage beat. Do you want to hear the, the first FL beat I ever made? Go on. It's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. 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 Shall we um carry on? Wrap it up soon. Oh yeah, we haven't done anything about Star Wars. Sorry, mate. Got him. Should we though? Because we could just cut well, bits out that we don't like. Before, well, almost. Oh, right, yeah. oh, okay. What's your
your favorite program of, like TV program of all time? Of all oh, time, Simpsons. Fuck me, that's a hard question. Um, mine's easily Simpsons. TV. Was, so we're not we're not we counting done. like. What about if it, it is like not like Netflix shows or anything? No, like. but like if it's broadcasted on TV, just anything that's broadcasted yeah, on TV. Yeah. Um. What my favorite thing to come out of TV? Game of Thrones. Oh. <laughs> because that came that came through TV. Dragons tips and incest. <laughs> it's so very good. fucking good. Tyrion, Wait, it, it? Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> Tyrion Lannister is one of my favorite characters ever, like in anything ever. I think he's wicked. Who and the fuck just, is that? If you watch Game of Thrones, I watched like the first. The you know the Lannister family, yeah. so like the one that's in the, the midget, uh-huh. the, the really fam- the famous oh him midget oh yeah actor. I know yeah Tyrion he's my favorite or the hat the blood ha- he's the in hound. that new film isn't he he's in a new film he's like he's like the king or something like that. <laughs> I I knew him from that f- have you watched Elf before yeah you know yeah, the part yeah. in Elf where the midget comes in and he drop kicks <laughs> is that him? <laughs> that's the same guy <laughs> but he's like if you call me Elf one more time I'm gonna drop kick you he's like all right Elf's a bit angry he just runs up the conference table and drop kicks him. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure I got a Lucas Aid in my bag. Okay, what's your favorite film? Oh, Bruv! I oh, watched that like 400 times. Nah, the, it's, I've watched it. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> you know what's actually a very good film that I watched recently again? What? Uh, 1917. Yeah. It's like a, a war film, but it's fucking... Oh, 1917? Yeah. I think it's 1972. Or something. No. <laughs> it's like parties and shit. Usually when that's all the Harry Styles in, isn't it? But he's... No, that's Dunkirk. Yeah, Dunkirk. Oh. Dunkirk is a Usually when movie. there's like a film about war. Oh! Like, have you seen Patrick? 1917 is oh, yeah, the one yeah, yeah. shot. Like, no, yeah. Is it the one shot? Where it's, they not, don't... it's not one shot, but it's made to look like it's one shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I heard about film. it. I haven't seen it. That's the one about. It's like the two guys they go who have in to, go to save to like the. It's like a captain or general or something, isn't it? Like a rescue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit like. But like a. Have you seen more version of? Have you Pike seen? Though. Has any of you seen the Kingsman? The new one? No, yeah, I yeah, never I've, watched. I've, I haven't. The watched end it. is fucking it weird, is fucking isn't it? I haven't actually watched when, any when, of it. When he gets back in the trench, so oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I haven't. I haven't, the end I haven't is, watched any of them. I've you know never, what? I've like, I, you I, got it, bro. Yeah, because at the end of the new one is like when they form the actual Kingsman. Do you like Jonah Hill, like the oh, actor? Yeah. Have you watched the first film? He he's got he's started directing now. Oh. Have you watched mid nineties? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Watched it like not that long ago. I loved it. I Jonah can't. Hill directed it. So yeah, Jonah. That was the I first really film like that Jonah, Jonah Hill. Hill directed. Do you like him? I feel like he gets he gets bullied. He gets bullied way. Have you too seen like much. the TikToks where it's like so the fat guy of Hollywood and all that? Oh like, yeah, and he he's gets, like, can we just go to the next? Yeah, question? You know it's like it's like in between. It's like what's that thing between two ferns or something? And he's like getting obviously that's fake, but he gets fucked over in that. No, he gets beat up. Yeah, because Leonardo DiCaprio had to like tell him his baby Oda was or something like that. What's we beat the shit up? So he had to make a video saying I was not like jumped by baby Oda. Have you seen one that's like now? He actually looks like a gangster now. He's got long, like, blonde he hair. Looks like, you know... Look at him. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I remember I'm looking at him. He's like, a, he's like a mafia boss. I can tell you my favourite film. He was film, sick right. in Superbad. Oh, ain't it? Have They're you... so young in Superbad. <laughs> Who's the guy in... The guy in Superbad plays Scott Pilgrim, is it? Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Adam. I don't know what his name is, but it's up. Adam something, yeah. He's the guy in I'll see. End of the World who gets m- mashed up. Hold on, Scott I'll Pilgrim's a good film. That's a very good film. Have you watched End of the... F- is it End of the, End fucking, of the fucking World? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Not really. Nah, not the series, the film. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah the film. The film with all of like the Scott, comedy yeah, the superstars. Was it Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen. Um, what is it? Oh, what's is that, that the one at the end where that guy's that? name is literally in everything I know, now? I know. He's in Brooklyn Nine yeah. Nine. Oh, what Terry Crews? No. No. Uh, the. Bat- 
the bandit guy, Pontiac Bandit. Oh yeah, yeah. What's it? He's literally in everything these days. Yeah. Like Jude. Jude. <laughs> Jude. <laughs> it's the worst so thing like possible. In, uh, in Brooklyn by Night. Idris Elba. Oh, I don't know. Uh, so there's that guy. Uh, the guy who plays Kenny Powers. Um, oh God, who else is it? Jonah Hill's in it, and gets possessed by some like <laughs> sex demon. It's really weird. It's good though. If you haven't watched End of the, End of the World, you should. Oh, it was a bit it. cheesy. The greatest. Huh? A bit cheesy. Yeah, no, it's meant to be though, isn't it? It's like it's the end of the world. It's like a rapture, and they all get, but they play themselves. Yeah. Like Seth Rogen's playing Seth Rogen. I like films like that. The f- uh, the guy who voices the main character in How to Train the Dragon, oh. Jay Summon. Jay Z. <laughs> he just Jay Z just not Jay Z. You heard it here. Yeah, yeah Jay Z voices, voices the main character. Yeah, what is the main character? Is he the one who owns Toothless? Jay Z voices. Yes. Yeah, Toothless. I don't know. Who yeah, yeah, he, vo- he voices Toothless. Oh, sorry, no, it's called This Is The End. I take it back. 2013. Fucking hell. It nearly came out 10 years ago. The greatest, like, trilogy of film that isn't sci-fi is The Hangover. No. I not the greatest. Love, I love no. those fucking Not the fucking films. greatest. No. I prefer uh, fucking uh, Bars of the Caribbean. A well, comedy te- film. Technically, sp- the original Sam Raimi trilogy Spider-Man is not a sci-fi, so I think you need to attract <laughs> James <laughs> Franco. I forgot about Jane. Oh, James Franco. Wasn't he? That's a bit of a controversial name now, isn't it? What? What? what why? Is that that what, fucking what thing? Was he actually like? Sort of what was that actually held against? It was like rape and like. Oh fuck! Sexual have you seen? If you type in James Franco on the Urban Dictionary, you know that uh, like someone put. It means when you wipe your bum and your finger goes through a toilet paper. Oh dig. <laughs> so it's James Franco, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel. That's it. Danny McBride, Kate, Craig Robinson, Rihanna's in it. Yeah, Rihanna's in fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the plot of the story is they all go to the guy who voices the How to Train Dragon guy goes back to LA because he moved away and him and Seth Rogen are supposed to be like best friends but he's like oh Seth you've changed man you're famous now and you're doing this and that and then um, the plot of the story is they're having like a massive party they're all getting wasted they're all doing drugs and then the rapture starts and everyone, like, all the good people start getting sent off to heaven. <laughs> oh, they're stuck. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, um, I've seen that. And they're stuck no, on... I've seen that. They're stuck in the house. And the rapture starts and fire starts. Yeah, and I remember start seeing that. turning into demons. Wait, what's it called? This is the end. Is it on Netflix? Yeah. Well, and they all, um, like, James Franco, Seth Rogen, they all get trapped in his house. Um, and, yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, I've seen that. Then That's Channing funny. Tatum becomes, like, a gets put on a leash and becomes <sighs> like a sex dog it's weird but it's funny right let me find this thing so have any of you s- w- do any of you watch any anime at all yes yeah. Tokyo Ghoul yes yeah right so I was on Netflix and I was trying to find some some animes that were good and I saw one that the cover looked exactly like Tokyo Ghoul and I was like alright I'll check this out we'll have a look I can't I'm trying to find it now but do you know what do you know what it is about what's it about it's about there's this world and there's these special people that have powers and then there's people that don't and there's someone that's half of both. Exactly fucking Tokyo Ghoul. No <laughs> difference. Character looks the same. It's set in Tokyo and it's got that. Well, how have they got away with it? I actually want to get into anime. I want to watch some. Have you? Anime. You want to watch anime? Watch. Uh, watch the Tag on Titan. Wait. It's definitely watch Full Metal. Oh. Uh, Full that Metal's on? the best anime ever on? made. I Netflix. Yeah, there is season two stream right now, but on Netflix, there's only season one Demon Slayer. Oh, yeah. Slayer. It's fucking sick. Somehow, I managed to get onto the US Netflix yesterday. Oh, I did that with the VPN. <laughs> I, just, I just clicked on it to type in the US. <laughs> what minute are we on? 40 something. Let's stop it in a minute. How do you see your list? Uh, it should be just, scroll, if you scroll down, it should be just there. My list. Here we go. Right, what the fuck? That's a too long a name. Car- what the fuck? Carab- Carab- Cab- Cabaneri of the Iron Fortress, the Battle of Hunata. That is what it's called, and it's a, r- the, a direct fucking rip-off of Tokyo Ghoul. I want to know why they did that, because you have to put so much effort into making an anime, and then just for it to rip something off. There's a new film. Yeah. That ca- there's not. It's a series. It's called All of Us Are Dead. Have you seen that? I've heard what of it. Was it like that... Um that Korean t- uh, zombie film. Yeah. It's yeah. V- apparently it's very good. It, there was it's number one in the UK. 
Yeah, I've seen that. There was there's a there's a there's a film about it. There's like a prequel film, I think. Yeah, I, I think I've seen that. But I'll, I'm gonna watch that later because it looks ve- actually very fucking good. Uh, is the rip off of Tokyo Ghoul called, called Blue Exorcist? No. Oh. That's that's very different. It. Mm. Similar, like it's. Follows the story. That's it. Hashtag alive. It's really sim- it it's really similar to what is it on Netflix? Yeah, and it's it's I think it's a prequel to or like a sequel is to that, that hashtag series. Hashtag? Yeah, hashtag alive. Oh yeah. It's good. It's it's the same. It's set in the same world. I think. I'm gonna watch that later. You'll like it. Hashtag alive is a really good film. I thought it was gonna be shit, but it's the dubs are really good. Hmm. You'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> Talking Tom has a TV show. <laughs> it's a TV show. <laughs> Talking, talking <laughs> I remember Tom when anime. I got him to say really <laughs> bad oh. shit. Oh, like, I might download it. Like I got him to say when he did like burn down the Taj Mahal and stuff. <laughs> 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 Why the Taj Mahal? What are you going to say? Because it's just like it's useless, isn't it? No, it's just <laughs> that is right. horrific to say that, isn't it? The top. Have you? I really want to go see the Taj Mahal. I'm not joking. Have you seen? I don't know what it's called, but there's like places. Oh, I'll be saying. I don't, I don't even know where it is. Like, it's like this massive black box. Oh, in, like in Fortnite, Israel, yeah. the cube. No, oh. <laughs> it's in Israel. I mean, the cube. Go in oh, like the, like the, uh, like the. F- sorry if I get this wrong, but like Muslims like walk around it or something like that. It's, it's like it's, it's apparently it's like a pray. It's like yeah. a massive cube, isn't it? It's in the center of all the holy land. And people like they oh, walk around the. It. I don't want to say. Some people say it's like oh, what in a life kind of thing. What's it? Fuzzy cube. Yeah, people go around and pray. It's like a gold ring around the bottom. Gold ring. It's 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 just cool, isn't it? Shall we um? Fortnite copied. <laughs> Fortnite like copied Israel. <laughs> it's the guy from Fortnite in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Someone starts to jump on it, see if they can bounce in there. Touch it, it goes purple. Mm. That <laughs> sick. <laughs> that fucking Fortnite skin oh. with the cube head and comes all the out. Muslims like writing looks like the symbols on the fucking. Oh, oh what are the cubes? <laughs> yeah. That's not even bad to say. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Their ro- I'm just saying their writing looks like a symbol. Fortnite copied. You know the uh, Fortnite, 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 Fortnite copied Israel. Fortnite copied Israel. You know the, go- gonna, the, the Muslim religion are gonna sue fucking Fortnite. <laughs> what the? Muslim, a religion. The, Musli- the Muslim religion as a whole are going the to sue Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite as a live All right, so. F- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Let me talk about that's brilliant. So, if any of you it's not staying original, in, but you might as well. If any of you seen the original Spider-Man film, yeah. I thought, I thought. the twin towers were originally in it, and he swung around them and like just had fun because it was filmed before 9/11, and it got released afterwards. So they had to cut the scenes, and um, in the in the law, like the law of the film. Um, Spider-Man teamed up with all his villains to stop Al Qaeda from doing it. <laughs> you, you know, that's literally a fi- official law of it. You know and this guy said, "Why wouldn't Green Goblin just help Al Qaeda?" <laughs> <laughs> and then he put on his what was it, Green Goblin's voice? <laughs> Thank you, Al Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why that's a thing? Yeah. <laughs> God speed, Spider-Man. Al speed. Yeah. <laughs> He's like. Thank you, Al Qaeda. <laughs> there, there was one comic that was kind of like Spider-Man met Obama, and they like <laughs> he swung him around the city. Because apparently he's like Ob- Spider-Man's like Obama's favorite hero. <laughs> Don't blame him. Obama 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 Obama. 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 Obama's actually probably the best president I've ever seen in my life. Okay. For Bill Clinton. I prefer JFK. Bill Clinton. <laughs> JFK just fucking killed. John Fortnite Kennedy. I prefer. Um, headshot, headshot, headshot. I prefer. What was his name? Abraham. Yeah, that is actually who I was thinking. Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln. Sharp Jack. Uh, so yeah, let's end it for today. Yeah, we're gonna need to make so many cuts. But, no. <laughs> No. Only the last part. You can you can cut out all the bits about Al Qaeda apart from yeah, the Green last Goblin part. blowing up the Twin Towers. No, and you can keep the bit in where I said it's official law because it's true. It's a real. Yeah, just that we keep that in.
we're, we're, we're going to need to go you, through all of this. It. Not all of it. part we can keep. We, no, we know all of it's good except for the last part. Pretty much, Because yeah. he talks about normal stuff for the rest of it. Right. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This Listening. Has been this is podcast. James, myself, Jack, and Connor. We should try and keep this going, you know. We could have, like, so many podcasts going on. Guest. Little guest. Oh, and our, and our, and our guest, Solemn, who was also in here while <laughs> that time we recorded. Lifelong nemesis, LF. Yeah, no, LF was here. Fuck LF. LF. He's gone. Fuck him. All right, yeah. Thanks for listening. Hi, Matt. See you next time. See ya. Oh. It, it won't end. It won't end. <laughs> people, people.